Hey guys, Will Terry here, and this video is going to be pretty short because I'm kind of pissed off. I got this. I shouldn't be pissed. I got this. I'm going to compare it to, oops, to this, my iPad Air, and to my Cintiq monitor, and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to be using it and what my plans are. But for all you Apple haters out there, this feather goes in your cap. It's like, where's the freaking pen? Now, I knew I wasn't getting the pen three days ago when I ordered it four days ago. It's like this. Okay, so this is called the iPad Pro. Now, who's going to use this? Is it going to be your average everyday person who wants to watch a video or is it going to be somebody who wants to actually do some freaking work? And it's like you made a pen... And did you not have faith in your product that you needed pens to go with it? I, did, I don't get it. It's like, why make us wait two more weeks? Uh, anyway, all right, so let's get on with this. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you, again, my plans. And I'm also going to talk about some of the criticism that the iPad Pro is getting and talk about some other possibilities that you might be interested in. So stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so what you're seeing right here is, this is my Cintiq monitor made by Wacom. This is the pen here when I turn it on. And for those who don't follow my channel very much, um, I am a children's book illustrator. But I also do some fan art, and this is a piece I did today. This is the Cintiq monitor. This is a 21 UX, so 21 inches um, screen, right? And then over here we have the iPad Air okay just to get the the size right there and then here is the box of the iPad Pro so you can kind of get an idea on size there and let's just go ahead and open this up drum roll it actually takes a while for the air to seep in these things are notoriously hard to get open. Okay. So here is the iPad Air, or I'm sorry, the iPad Pro. And we'll just take it out of the sleeve here. I actually haven't taken it out yet, so this is first for me. Let's just hit the button to turn it on. I have not even set this thing up yet. Um, so yeah, it is substantially bigger. Let's go ahead and slide just to keep it on. But you can see, I'm going to set this right on there like that. And you can see my secret code there. Um, yeah, so here is the corner. We'll put all these on the corner of each other so you can get a, a size relationship there so you know I can draw on my Cintiq clear out to here but the problem with the iPad that I was having before was without pressure sensitivity uh, the biggest problem was that I couldn't finish a drawing right and so that's the, the biggest reason why I got um, this iPad Pro is because it's pressure sensitive, which we're not going to get to play with today because what's the point of doing it with my finger? Um, but anyway, that's the purpose is so that I can actually do a drawing like this. So these drawings that I do, the, the fan art drawings that are like digital pencil, I do them, I start them on the iPad Air and then I finish them on the Cintiq. I also finish all my color work um, on here so if you go to willterry.com you can see um, and I'll have a link to it in the description but you can see all my color work that's all done on on this antique monitor what I want this what the reason why I bought this iPad Pro is so that on the go I can start and finish a drawing like this so that wherever I am I can work on my little fan art pieces or drawings for clients sketches and things like that and I'll be able to get that thin to thick line, that, that light to dark line that mimics a pencil or a pen 
or any natural uh, medium. Now, a lot of people are talking about using this this tablet um, to do finished work, you know, start to finish. And they're asking me, well, which one should I get, Cintiq monitor or iPad Air? Well, I'm going to do some tutorials um, like I've done before for SVS, and I've also got a link for that, our tutorial site, our, our online school. I'll be doing tutorials uh, on the iPad Pro um, that will be start to finish. But that's not going to probably be my chosen method to work simply because I have the Cintiq monitor. Now, if, and, and I can't make this judgment yet because I haven't actually played with this, obviously, um, but I love Photoshop. Photoshop gives me so much control and so much power. And yes, there's a lot of other great programs out there. But this is this is the program that I know. This is a program I love. This is this is what I wake up in the morning and I know where everything is. And I don't want to change anything because I can do exactly what I want in this program. I won't be able to do that here because I'll be using an app like Procreate or Sketchbook Pro. And there's a zillion of other great apps out there. And none of them are probably going to be anywhere near as powerful as Photoshop. That doesn't mean that you can't create great artwork on the iPad Pro or even on an iPad, but it will. There's a there's a trade-off. There's a cost to it, and the cost is usually time. So I can create finished pieces of work on the iPad Air, this you know on this little one which I've done before, um, but. I have to work so hard at it because no pressure sensitivity so I have to constantly zoom in and zoom out on the size of the brush that I'm using. I have to constantly change the opacity um, and it's just super time consuming. So a lot of people ask me questions like that. They'll ask like, well Will, can you, um, could, I, could I buy an iPad and create artwork for like a children's book? And you know, the iPad with, with Procreate, the Procreate app which is this one right here, the one that I use the most. Um, and I just updated it, so I haven't actually been in there since I updated it. But, um, you know, in even in this app right here, um, again, it just, it, you, you, can get a, you can get a size that is big enough for a single page, but it's gonna be really hard to get if you're doing a double page spread in a children's book that's probably 11 by 17 inches at 300 DPI. That's pushing this to the ultimate limit. I don't think you can do it. Um, you know, some people say they can, but I, I would never want to. It'd be like, uh, it would be, what's a good analogy? It'd be like trying to dig a swimming pool with a spoon. You know, I mean, it's just the wrong tool for that. This, however, we're getting a lot closer because you've got a bigger size that you're dealing with. So you've got, you've got this massive screen in comparison. I mean, this in my lap, you know, I can imagine drawing on this, and now I've got some room that I can actually draw with. So I can't wait to get the pencil from Apple. Um, and and I think that this one is, um, with that pressure sensitivity, again, I think what I'll be able to do is just take my drawings. Before I would take my, you know, this is a finished drawing. There's no way I would get anywhere close to this look on the iPad. But I am I'm going to do one uh, like this, and I'll bet you won't be able to tell the difference between this and between Photoshop and the iPad Pro. I'm going to finish a sketch just like this, and we'll see. Um, so, and the thing with that is, when I can take a sketch this far, uh, I can color it really quickly on the Cintiq. Now, the reason, and a lot of people are going to say, well, why don't you want to just add color on the iPad Pro? And the biggest, one of the big reasons is, again, one, it's it's going to be cumbersome, a little clunky compared to how I work, um, I I think, you know, on the on the iPad or on the Cintiq right here. But another reason is that the color profile is going to be, look differently, you know. So when I when I have done color work before, I, I bring it from the iPad to the Cintiq, all my colors are off and they look they look kind of funky and stuff. So I think it'll just be easier for my workflow to do the drawings here. I can do them anywhere. I can be on an airplane. I, you know, I could be uh, in a meeting, wherever, at school, um, in a doctor's office, and then f take those finished drawings, and if and either they're finished, and then I print them for my fan art, or I will then um, import them 
and into my computer and then f just color them up real quick in Photoshop. And there you go. So uh, another thing that people have said is, hey, you can get the Surface, Microsoft Surface Pro. You can get, um, and I'm going to be doing, uh, and hold me to this because Mel Milton already agreed to do it. He is he and I are going to do a video using his Samsung uh, tablet. I'm not ex sure exactly which one it is, but it's an Android tablet. I don't know the name of it exactly, but uh, it's a it's a Samsung Android tablet, and it has pressure sensitivity, and it's much cheaper than this. So that's another factor. There's a lot of people around the world who maybe can't don't want to afford this. You know, this was I got the, the lower end iPad. I did get the gold. I don't know why I got the gold actually. It's like there was choices between silver, white, and gold or something like that. And I I was like, hmm, I've never had gold before. It's not worth any more being gold. But I'm gonna go for the gold because it's gold, I guess. So anyway, we're gonna do a review on that tablet because I've used it. I've used his tablet and it is amazing also uh, for drawing because it's pressure sensitive. It makes beautiful lines. And this was $7.99 plus tax with the 32 gig. I think they, they only have two and the, the upper one is 128 or something like that gigs. Um, and I just didn't feel like I needed that much space because I'm just going to be drawing on it and I don't download a ton of apps and stuff. Um, and also because I use the iPhone, so um, I don't feel like I need more. But anyway, we'll do that review. You guys can choose which one you want. Uh, if all things being considered, another question that I get asked, you know, is, again, I'll just end with this by putting these all together so you can really see sizes. Um, I get asked, you know, if, if you had one device you know, what would it be? The one device to rule them all. And for me, it would be the Cintiq. If I if I could only have one device, I would get this. Now I got this used, brand new. I don't think they make the 21 UX anymore. I don't think they make this, all of them are HD now. But if I, but I got this one used, lightly used, and it was still 1500 bucks. Normally it would have been closer to 2000. They are very pricey, um, but they're amazing to work on. It To me right now, working on one of these feels like working on paper. Um, it just I just don't feel any difference other than the fact that it's better than paper because I can edit. Now, I don't get an original, and that's the downside. Um, and I don't get the kudos from working uh, traditionally because in the art community, traditionals seems to always be, have this, this better stigma but if i go to a, to a like when i went to comic con uh people couldn't tell the difference they they thought it was drawn with a pencil so in in that sense it doesn't matter because they're buying the print they like it they think it's traditional perfect um one last little update cuz i i you know i do these videos kind of vlog style and i give a lot of updates i'm going to CTN in a few days down in LA this is uh november 16th 2015 and I'm going to be updating my playlist on uh, earning money selling at conventions because I'll be selling all my fan art again. And uh, I will add that to the playlist. So stay tuned and hope this helps. I wish Apple would have sent me the pencil or I would have been doing a drawing right now for you guys. But I will be doing that as soon as I get it. And thanks for watching. And subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this.